everyone, I'm Ms. Jack, and today we're talking about physical and chemical changes. In order to do so, I'm going to tell you the tragic story of Marshmallow Man. He agreed to come help me tell the story, and we're gonna be talking about physical and chemical changes throughout the story. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Once upon a time, there was a little marshmallow boy. He was a wonderful student who worked hard each and every day in school. When graduation time came around for this superb young man, he graduated with honors and was accepted to a very high-ranked college. His passion for learning new things only grew stronger as he matured. When a new factory was built in his town, he yearned to learn all he could about how the heavy-duty machines operated. So he decided to take a tour. Upon entering the plant, a horrible thing happened. He was mistaken for an intruder and was beaten by the security guard. Even though Marshmallow Man went through such a horrific ordeal, he survived and still had a smile on his face. So the first thing that happened to Marshmallow Man, he got beaten. And as you can see, he has a little bit of a change in texture to his marshmallows. So was that a physical or a chemical change? So one hint or one question to ask when you're trying to decide if it's a physical or chemical change is, is it still the same thing? So do we still have marshmallows? Yeah, he's still Marshmallow Man. He just changed his texture. So that would be a physical change. All right, let's continue our story. So although Marshmallow Man was such a sweet guy, after all, he was made of marshmallows, he was also very tough. So he pulled himself together and continued his tour of the plant. As he was walking through the factory, a forklift went out of control and stabbed Marshmallow Man. Okay, so he was stabbed with the forklift. Now, was that a physical or a chemical change? So is he still a marshmallow? Still, still Marshmallow Man? Yep, he still is. He just has a, a little a small hole or a puncture over here, but that's okay. He still has a smile and, on his face. So that would be a physical change. Let's continue. Once again, Marshmallow Man being the strong man he was, he was able to recover with a smile and continue on his tour. The heavy machinery in the factory amazed Marshmallow Man, so he leaned in for a closer look, just as he did, uh-oh, I'm nervous. Just as he did, the machine caught his arm and ripped it off his body. There was blood everywhere. A worker called 911 and Marshmallow Man smiled as the ambulance rushed him to the hospital. Marshmallow's blood, as you can see, is a little bit different color than ours. That's because he's Marshmallow Man. All right. So we have our next action item that happened. His arm got amputated and he bled, so we had um, some of the marshmallows got taken off. Is that a physical or chemical change? They're still marshmallows, they're just now in different pieces. And then also, what about the blood? So we have a color change. So we just added color to the marshmallows. Is it still marshmallows? Yeah. So this is actually going to be both physical changes. Good job. Let's continue with our story. After an extended stay at the hospital, Marshmallow Man decided he needed a vacation. So he headed off to Cozumel, Mexico to enjoy a relaxing time from all the chaos he had just endured. The beautiful waters of the Caribbean looked so inviting, he decided to join a snorkeling expedition. 
The fish were exquisite and he dove down for a closer look. About the time he thought that life couldn't get any better, uh-oh, he turned and came eye to eye with the great white shark. It was a vicious attack. Marshmallow Man was again rushed to the hospital and he was in surgery for hours and the doctors did all they could. He survived the monstrous attack, but doctors could not save his leg. It had to be amputated. Since the doctors didn't want his bloody amputated leg just lying around, they disposed of it in boiling water. All right, so our next action item. He got his leg amputated and it was put into boiling water. So as you can see, we have a separation of the marshmallows. That was still marsh marshmallows, right? So that would be a physical change. Now when the marshmallows start, or when the marshmallows get added to the boiling water, is that a physical or chemical change? So what are the marshmallows doing? They're starting to dissolve. So dissolving is a physical change. That's because if we boil this water back, we might get parts, pieces of the sugar left from the marshmallows. So this is just a physical change because we still have marshmallows. They're just spread out evenly dissolved in the water. Okay, let's continue our story. Marshmallow Man was still happy to be alive and still had a smile on his face. After a long period of physical therapy, Marshmallow Man decided to head back home and try to get his life back under control. It was good to be back home. He decided to cook himself a home-cooked meal. Mmm. He chose a hearty steak to cook on the grill. Just when he went to put the steak on a grill, the whole thing exploded and caught him on fire. Poor thing. Okay, he's cooking a steak and then this happens. Yikes. As you know, Marshmallow Man was a survivor and once again survived this unfortunate accident and he was alive. So he smiled. So our next action item, he caught on fire. So here you can see where he got burned. So is this a physical or a chemical change? Now, when he caught on fire, you can see he changed color. Now this is a new color that we weren't expecting or that we didn't add. So here we have burnt marshmallow, right? So that's a new substance. We cannot get this back into regular marshmallow, right? So that would be a chemical change because we have a new substance. Good job. Let's continue our story. The factory tour did not go well. This trip to the tropical islands did not go well. And he could not even return home and things get right. So it was time for another attempt at relaxation. He decided to take a trip to the far reaches of the world, an uncharted region. This was going to be perfect. Away from all civilization. He could finally relax. So he unpacked his things, set up his tent, settled down for a good night's sleep. Suddenly, he heard some commotion. Something or someone was outside of his tent. The next thing he knew, he woke up and he was surrounded by savage cannibals. <laughs> Sadly, Marshmallow Man had run out of luck and he was eaten by hungry cannibals. This time, Marshmallow Man could no longer smile. So our last item that happened to poor Marshmallow Man was he was eaten by cannibals. Now that was that a physical or a chemical change? What do we know? So is he still Marshmallow Man? 
If he got eaten by the cannibals, then that means he is now being digested. And can he still be back to Marshmallow Man? No, because remember, when you digest something, the chemicals in your body break it down and make a new substance. So that would be a what type of change? Chemical change, exactly. Thank you so much for joining me on this tragic story of Marshmallow Man. Hopefully he helped you learn a little bit about physical and chemical changes. See you next time.